Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Warriors TV for Cinch League 2 action. It's Dennis Muir, made the trip to Gallabank to take on Annan Athletic. The side has contrasting form in last week's opening fixture. The Warriors picking up a 1-0 win against Albion Rovers, whilst Annan Athletic losing 1-0 to Strandra. Of course Annan Athletic managed to win their Premier Sports Cup group, becoming the first League 2 side they were doing so and we'll be looking to go into the season with a lot of promise despite the start, uh, poor start last week. And the two captains meet in the middle, Swinglehurst for Annan and Crichton for the Warriors. And it'll be the Warriors to get us underway here at Gallabank. And Matty Act, he explains it back and it's put forward by Sean Crichton. And they'll be out for a throw in front of the Warriors dugout. Paul Anderson has played off to Jameson. Was a pass through in the middle. Hard dispossessed, but ball put forward by Anderson now over the top now. Looking for Yates. Puts the ball across. And Swinglehurst is the one that meets it and heads it away for a corner to alleviate the danger. And looking for a chance of their own here. Keep going down the right hand side. Warriors unable to stop, but ball put across. It's flicked on there by Goss in the hands of Brennan, who's able to get low enough. To deny Goss a goal. Throw and taken. Has put it back to number three, Loden. He'll get a better of Anderson now. He's Loden drives it the box, puts it back. But a shot from the edge of the area and it's straight over the bar. Throw and Anderson to Bryson. Bryson turns. He puts a ball out the box. It's headed on and Swinglehurst there once again. Heading away from danger but could have caused some issues. But Greg Fleming. Stopping them goal from happening. Corner swung in, number four. Swing the last and meets it, and it's 1 0 to Annan Athletic on the half hour mark. The corner swung in there by Dominic Doherty. And it goes to the back post, and Stephen Swinglehurst recently, a testimonial for 300 matches played for Annan. It's the one that opens the scoring. It's going to Annan's first since League 2 goal of the season. It's Annan Athletic 1, Stennis Weir 0. Anderson well thrown out the box, headed away. It's headed on now is Corbett. Not realising he has to chase back, but Calm Yates to it. Yates puts the ball in towards the box. It's headed on, the keeper comes out and misses it. Matt Yates has a chance, it's Corbett in and it's wide of the target. Probably the best chance of the half of the Warriors. Matt Yates just can't find the target. He's been doing that doing well so far this season, but missed there. Into the second half as Aaron fight the ball out. Put forward. Jameson heads it back. It's not going a bit orange. Put through to Matthew Yates. Dispossessed fantastically there by the number two Barnes. It's switched over the left hand side now. Number seven Wallace. Holding off the Warriors players and it's put back to Fleming. He clears the ex Warriors keeper himself. The ball headed on now. Jameson puts it back to Connor Brennan. Brennan wide to the captain Crichton. Crichton looks to find Wedder Burner but Lucy in first to it and well he slides and shells ends up the ball in the back of the men instead of here 2-0 down in the 56th minute mark the Warriors caught slacking at the back Crichton unable to find Wedder Burner the path and Lucy in first to it and it's well and no they are in two sorry instead of here no with 34 minutes left in the clock and not looking good for the Warriors Harry Barnes Now he's ball bounces around and it's cleared. Yeah, it's puts a challenge in. And now he's ball put over the top. It's Annan driving down the left. Ross puts the ball across. It's a chance by Smith and it's well saved by Brennan. But he's trailing through and Warriors get that away and look to counter. But the referee will pull it back. Annan player going down moments ago and it's Connor Brennan with a big save. Corner swung in by Yates and it's headed away. There's Bob Bouncing, it's headed on by Smith and Lucen. First to it and knocks it past the oncoming Calm Yates and he's through on goal against Corner Brennan. Can you make it three this time and it's a well saved by Corner Brennan and that winner burn clears and two chances within just minutes of each other. Corner Brennan comes up big for He kick Warriors, weather burn. Was it short to Yates? Back to Weatherburn. 
Where a burn looking for an option. Matty Yates dropping deep. Gets the ball and puts it wide to Miller. Miller puts the ball back into Matty Yates. Gets the ball, turns. Tries a 10 from range. And he lobs Craig Fleming. And it's a fantastic 35 yard effort there from Matty Yates. Brings the Warriors back within a goal. Some strike from the former Stranor man. He scores his fourth goal in just six games this season. He spots Greg Fleming off his line, just tries it, and it ends up top corner, and it's been the Warriors about a lifeline with 15 minutes left on the clock. Ball put forward now. Sewell so, puts the ball in the box. O'Reilly with the head on. The fans, you can see there, the head in the hands. O'Reilly as well. It's a good chance for the Warriors trying to get back into it. Free kick to Ann. Ball put into the box. And Connor Brennan able to grab that out there and looking for the start a quick counter. A long ball forward looking for Will Sewell and it's over the top of the defenders. Will Sewell chasing it down and keeps the ball in play. Passes the ball back looking for an option. Can't find him. Falls to Ross Forbes with a chance. And it just misses the target. Ross Forbes looking to score his third Warriors goal ever. It misses there. Now it's Creighton. Ball forward. It's deflated. Back to Matty Yates. And Yates just can't beat Greg Fleming. He's able to get down low and deny Yates his second goal of the game. Callum Yates, ball forward. It's head on by Crichton and it'll be in the hands of Greg Fleming as the time is running out here. And that'll be it. Here at Galbank and it's a big three points for the host who started off with the feet last week and well, Warriors left the rue and the stakes at the back there, especially for that second goal. Poor passing, picked up on by an athletic to well, take a two goal advantage and it's too much for the Warriors to come back from. Just like Matty Yates wonder strike with 15 to go. The Warriors couldn't break down that resolute and defence they're known for. And and of course, again, heading into next week's game and still an Albion, the Warriors will look at to do better after a poor performance here at Galabank and a performance last week as well, despite getting that 1 0 win. And still an Albion on a fourth back. The place the Warriors won both times last season. Looking back on that winning trap. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week. Well, Connor, it's a 2 1 defeat here at Galabank, but two key saves on yourself to keep the score uh, low. How are you feeling after that game? Um... I think disappointed would be the one. Um, you know, we we'll huffed and puffed. The first half of a set play gets them in um, one 0 But you know, with the second half, getting the second goal is it's a bit of a fluke. You could call it. You know, in a different day, that goes out for a, a goal kick. Unfortunately, it's ended up in the net. Um, but you know, the way we want to play and the way we want to take risks, it's going to take time for these things to um, to work. Um, but yeah, but you know, I'm, I'm more than happy to play my part. But you know, that, that, that's my job. That's what I get paid to do is to make saves. So. You know, I am. I'm, I'm disappointed after that. Yeah, of course. You said the, the two um, key saves you made there when it was two 0 and then uh, Matty Yates uh, scored a wonder goal to bring us back within um, one goal with 15 minutes to go. And it must be a bit disappointing knowing that you've made those saves and weren't able to properly kick on and get the yeah. No, the yeah, he, he's got that in the locker. You, you've seen the last few weeks in pre-season the goals that he can score is um, is brilliant. He's, he's really, really good and he's got an eye for goal and that, and that does that gives you a lift. Um, you know, they 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 done well to defend it out and see it out, but. Um, you know, with 15 minutes to go, you're throwing everything at it, and you know, one thing is we didn't give up today, which is which is good to see. We never chucked it, we never put our heads down, we kept going and kept going. And unfortunately, Adam was the team that came out on top. Of course, we spoke to you um, a few weeks ago um, after you just signed for the Warriors, but and it's been a few weeks since, and we've had the Premier Sports Cup and we've had the uh, opening up a league game. So, how are you finding your time with the Warriors so yeah, far? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. It is. It's a great club. Um, it's good to be at. Everything that they try to do is professional, which is which is brilliant, which is what I want. Um, league Two is obviously going to be a difficult league, but um, now the club's been the club's been brilliant with me, and I've I've really enjoyed my time so far. And finally, we look ahead to uh, next Saturday. It's another away game against Stone Albion this time, and it'll be um, you know we're looking for much better than the last couple of games. Yeah, of course. Hopefully, you know we'll get back to the training ground Tuesday, Thursday, and um, we'll we'll look at that in the analysis as we do every other week, and we'll we'll try and get better and better, and, and hopefully keep building and, and try and start climbing up the league. It's just gone. No worries. Well, Stephen, it's a frustrating afternoon here at Galbank. How are you feeling? Frustrated. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, as you can imagine, you know, it's, uh, it's always a tough place to come, as we know. Um, you know, I thought Annan set up really physical today, um, really tough to beat. And I thought it was a really poor first half for both sides, to be honest with you. Um, no, no team get into any fluency or play. Um, I thought, looking at us, we were um, gave the ball away too too easy. You know, quite sloppy. Getting no part of play. I thought our runs in behind were lacklustre. Um, just, it's really disappointing. I said that to them there. You know, it's the one word they'll use is really disappointing. And when you when you look at the first half, they get a goal from from a set play where we're not picking up properly, no good enough. And, and it was like kind of he stabbed it in at the back post with his knee, and and that kind of typified that type of ugly goal typified the whole first half for both sides. And credit to them, they go in one 0 up, and that. Um, that, that, that sets him up for the second half to kind of go and counter. We then need to come out, um, but we gave a sloppy goal away. A uh, really bad goal again. Obviously, the boys poked it in for 25 yards for a tackle, which which you're going to, you know, it's just criminal. Um, and then, you know, you show a late flurry with 25 minutes to go, um, but I think that kind of papers over the cracks of a, of a poor performance because if they took their chances on the counter, um, they could have been three or four ahead, but that was due to us putting extra extra bodies forward at 2 0, kind of throwing caution to the wind type of thing. But um, listen, it's just the big, biggest word for today is disappointment. Yeah, you spoke about their the counter attacks that day, and it was 2 0 to them at the time, and it was uh, Connor Brennan denying them both, like, I think it was two occasions they had it through, and it must be must be quite good, you know, knowing that Connor Brennan will pull those saves when it matters the most. Well, it's um, you know we're, we're saying to them to try and be aggressive in, in transition and, and get up when they get up, um, make sure we're up against them, maybe even 35, 40 yards for their goal to sustain attacks. Because if they do breach that, you know they've still got a good goal to get past. And I thought Connor had made two unbelievable uh, stops um, when they were one and one, as you say, but. Really, really disappointing day. Yeah, we never got started. But I say to them in there, you know, it's uh, you're looking at the squad. There's boys that's came on, champing at the back, dying to play. Um, and if the guys didn't start, you know, if they don't take their chance, that's, that's just the way it is. Um, and ultimately, we won the we won the good enough first half. Yeah, and with uh, 15 minutes to go, it was a more than magic from Matty Yates. I think he got the ball about 40 yards out. Drove you and hit a shot, and it uh, lobbed Craig Simon and pulled his back with a goal. I think that we were kicked on from there. I thought I thought we had a couple of flurries after that, and you know we we, we had a couple of chances where he just didn't quite drop, and you know maybe had, uh, had a chance and it was straight to Greg Fleming. Forbes he's had a chance where maybe he's trying to be too accurate. Um, so ultimately we could have um, we could have maybe a nicked a draw, but I think overall three points to Annan's probably a fair result. And of course uh, I think it was uh, just over ten minutes additional time they were. Uh, majority of it wasn't played due to uh, an injury suffered by uh, one of their players but do you think that's a bit more frustrating knowing we had so much extra time and we just didn't get that second goal? Uh, I think I think you can, uh, when, when games kick on like that and go longer and longer you look at small details, why did they know they're at and why did they know they're at but ultimately the, the, the game was lost um, when, when they went 2-0 up, of, of course you, you keep you keep going but the two goals we gave away was just no good enough because there wasn't anything in the game. I mean, see, see, first half, there was nothing in the game, and the team that got that scrappy goal that they did would have, would have been in the ascendancy and been in control of the game in terms of when to sit in and when to counter. And I think if we had got 1 0 up, it, it would have been totally different. But it's all ifs and buts, and ultimately, um, we, we didn't get things right today, and, and we'll look to remedy it next week. Yeah, talk about next week, it's another away game. I wait, still in Albion this time. Uh, I say we beat both times at four point last season. Are you looking to continue that form? Aye, well, I mean, we, we looked forward to going there last year. Um, just need to try and get try and get the team right. Hopefully, get the boys lifted um, because you know we, we need to play better. But if the boys that maybe get an opportunity next week, they'll need to go and grab it um, because, as you see today, you know you, you look at the squad and the players that are coming on. There's massive competition for places, um, and that's just the nature of it. Cheers, Stephen. No worries.